can't be changed because, well, let's just say the market goes up, the market goes down, and the news have brought the news. Well, the market up. Good, it's been redacted. This is a few hours later. So for now, we're going to bring all the technical comments on the headline of the day. And the poll shows that there is no need to run against Obama in 2012 because his approval rating is growing greater with every day. I know, and everybody's finding that amazing that the polls today show he has a 23 point lead over even the unnamed Republican running against him. They said that's why he basically called all of the former White House communications people to the White House this morning to try to redo the message. I mean, isn't that funny? That if the, everybody that has left his office are all there at one time. Obama to double down on his spending program. I mean, they, they're just loony. I love this. Well, we've tried, the Republicans and the Democrats have tried everything, and Obama's listed, uh, listened to suggestions, and he feels the only way that we can do, we can get the economy going. Uh, is to have a jobs training program for green jobs and that we spend $150 billion on infrastructure and that uh, we provide incentives for people going green with their businesses. Uh, you know, all of that stuff that was done before that isn't working, he wants to even spend more money on. Oh, really? They said there's no chance on that. The U.S. is reportedly ramping up the war in Yemen. Yeah, well, there isn't. We're, we're not involved, and you know, now everybody knows we're involved. I mean, supposedly Hillary Clinton is over there because she's going to accept the surrender of Gaddafi. Yeah, like that's going to happen. Are you serious? Happen. Like yeah. that would ever happen? He's not going to surrender because Obama yesterday, the, uh, basically, the the uh, State Department says that Obama, uh, uh, Gaddafi is going to have to stand crime, stand. Uh, for trial for crimes against humanity. So, and the Dow is up huge on high unemployment, high employment figures, record overseas sales, and all time great housing sell records. Oh yeah, and then the fact that his approval rating is the highest it's ever been. Well, like we opened up with uh, about an hour ago, they redacted virtually everything. His approval rating isn't at seventy percent. His disapproval rating is at seventy percent. House sales are down. 14% from this time last year, which were down. The uh, <clears throat> car sales are not up. They're actually down from this time last year. The only thing that is up is which they, no one believes is that we are selling, we sold a record amount of imports to foreign countries this last month. Nobody buys that one. I mean, that, they said of all of the lies the White House could have told, that was the biggest lie. <laughs> that we're selling, you know, considering that we have at one time, we were the major sales force for the world, and now, we, uh, under Obama, for one month, we set the record sales. No. Nope. And over 70% of people approve of Obama's writing of the economy. Well, like they said, they redacted that one. 70%, including the Democrats, disapprove of his handling the economy. That's why Gibbs, uh, uh, Gibbs uh, the, uh, basically, his entire White House communication staff is now back at the White House to try to figure out a new message because they said, here, look, this way, the message is wrong. The Republicans are modeling up the message of how great the economy is. Uh, unemployment rate actually went up. And they also said during Obama's, during Obama's uh, great handling of the economy, there's only been 12 weeks in the uh, last 150 weeks where the uh, unemployment rate fell uh, below 400,000 a week. And live TV. You know, that seems to be the new big deal, is it? We're going to have interactive TV with every game now. Anybody remember PS3 and how they got into everybody's systems? It really wants the interactive TV to work. And hackers breached thousands of city online accounts, the bank says. Uh, 200,000 as of, but they knew it the 1st of May and didn't tell anybody Are until they serious? got, until somebody blew the whistle on them. But don't worry, while well, they got your name, they got your address, they got your social security number, and they got your email, they didn't get the banking information. <laughs> yeah, what yeah, else right. do they need? They don't need anything else, folks. An end to AIDS. Yeah, well, Obama has found a cure for AIDS now. And boat made entirely of trash launches in Taiwan companies seek as in Taiwan companies seek solutions. Internet runs out of IP addresses. Yeah, there's two together. Okay, we know it's I IP 
uh, IP6 or something, which is basically, they're going to shut down the internet for 24 hours to see who's compa who has the new system available. They bypassed I in IVP5 completely and went to 6. I hate to tell people though, there is an inexhaustible amount of address because you just go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, J, K, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, I know. You, you know how many combinations there are? There are so many combinations it takes a computer to figure out the amount of combinations. It's just they're wanting a brand new internet system that, uh, okay, the, the HTML5 isn't compatible with IP4, so they want to do, uh, they're wanting to make everything compatible with the new systems. So. And Chicago bus crashes going to every hospital. I know, and, uh, you know, they've had a bad day for bus crash. They get the, uh, a bus crash also earlier in the day basically took out an entire high school marching band. So it basically uh, blew a tire, skidded off the road, and injured everyone on the bus. And Michelle Obama to appear on Popular Children's Show. Yeah, she's going because uh, it, she has nothing to do with Obama running for president. She feels that the White House ne needs to take more active role in children's programming. Of course, it's on a channel that is tremendously favorable. They, they call it the All Obama Network. Oh, is that what they do? Yeah. Um, basketball World pays homage after Shaq wins. Well, I mean, I heard the reason why he quit. He said he couldn't recover from what, uh, the last, he's 40 years old, and the last injury he could not recover from. It was one of these things that's going to take a year to two to get heal after the surgery. So, I mean, nobody's going to hire a 42-year-old basketball player. So he just did the smart thing and quit. Yeah, that was smart. But they still love him in basketball and entertainment. Well, he'll be an, he'll be an analyst in basketball. You can bet yeah, on that. Yeah, you can bet on that one. Prolonged bottle feeding tied to obesity in young children. Yeah, it also gives them buck teeth. If you see a lot of bad teeth, you also oh, see a really? kid that's been bottle feeding a lot. So Fine line between slowdown and stall. Uh, that's what they're trying to say. The unions aren't stalling. They're just slowing down things across the country. Isn't that a good one, too? On Tony night, the unions have decided to shut down the entrance into the new Tony Awards show. Are because Oh, yeah. It is not... Okay, the Tony people are really left-wing union. The problem comes is that Radio City Music Hall rented the uh, rented the facility out to Circus du Soleil, and they need the time to basically get everything ready for their show. So the Tony Awards had to move into a theater that's 50% smaller. They don't have permission to have the red carpet on the front. They had to take it around back where the back door is, and the back door just happens to be in a non-union area. So the unions are going to shut down the Tony Awards show. What a mess! Yeah, isn't that something? It basically has to do with uh, a democratically controlled company putting in a democratically owned business, replacing a democratically ran organization, and putting it into a non-union area. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. And Bin Laden documents sharpen U.S. name. Okay, there's absolutely nothing that they could have found that would have done any good. And if they tell everybody they got it, it's basically worthless. I heard him talking about that last night, too. What you want to really do is to tell everybody, we know who you are and where you're at, because that means they're going to stay there and wait for you. OPEC talks collapse, pushing oil prices higher. Yeah, because half the members of OPEC want to cut back on production, and the other half want to raise production because they need to... Uh, they're, they're basically, they're spending more money than they're bringing in at the moment because they're fighting wars with everybody in their own country. So they got to have military equipment. Cheryl Cole, not the only star of the health X-Factor. What he said, show sucks. They said, first of all, it came on too late after The Voice, and it's basically the same as The Voice. It's that X-Factor that, ma you know, that makes the person uh, what they are. And it, it said the uh, X-Factor sucks as it is, so what you want to do is to have a it sucks in England. The voice sucks here, so this have it bring over to this country and suck even more. And healthcare battle unfolds in Atlanta court. Yeah, they said the Obama people are losing on all fronts. They said that the, uh, the, uh, the uh, Obama people are refusing to answer the questions of the judges. They're well, saying it's irrelevant to the conversation. They're not talking about the Constitution. Okay, they did pin Obama's people down. Obama's lead lawyer said the justice of the uh, court system has no legal or constitutional right to interfere with what was done because they cannot, uh, they cannot stop attacks. And this is not a penalty. It is a tax on people, and therefore the courts have no jurisdiction because it's a tax. Uh -huh.
nothing. Yeah, but Obama has basically did nothing but swear it was not a tax. The Democrats said it was not a tax. Now we've got a huge tax on everybody. Yeah. The tax, the, uh, the, uh, one, of the, one of Obama's judges said, in other words, that even if we rule it all unconstitutional, the tax remains, the guy said. So then you, if you're going to be taxed for it, you might as well get the service. Isn't that a good one? Which basically made the justices very unhappy. I bet it did. An FBI partner attacked by hackers and hackers take them. Yeah. I mean, there is no defense against. What happens is you have to drop your firewalls down for certain things to be done. When you drop the firewalls down, your site is completely open to everybody. They're taking. They said that's what happened. The Citibank said they had completely open to everybody. They're taking. They said that's what happened. The Citibank said they had they had to drop some firewalls to do some maintenance, and that's when they got in. Which means there's people involved in the businesses. Now Lindsay Lohan went to restraining order against man. Yeah, well, there's a lot of people, paparazzi and stuff, that are trying to get it right now. I have this one. And a monster bubble and stuff from the Mark Twain and the animal kingdom. Okay, if the obvious is not done, then the obvious is not so obvious after all, is it?